Dear learners, welcome to this introductory video on General English, a compulsory course for bachelor degree program. I am Chanika Roy from Krishnakanta Hantikoy State Upon University and I am here to present a brief overview of the course. The General English course has been designed to enhance your communication skills and also to improve your level of comprehension. Apart from this, it also aims to develop your reading and writing skills. The course has been divided into two blocks. The first block deals with a range of poetical works dealing with varied themes and issues. It aims to test your analytical and also your reading skills. Let us look a little more closely what block 1 contains. As you can see, it contains a total of 8 poems and the first unit deals with William Blake's poem, Holy Thursday, which has been taken from his famous poetry collection, that is, Songs of Innocence. It unravels the untold stories of little orphaned children who spend their childhood days in orphanages and charity homes in England. The second unit deals with William Cowper's the Solitude of Alexander Selkirk. It deals or it captures the story of a Scottish sailor who had been stranded on an island in South Pacific Ocean during one of his sea journeys. In Unit 3, we shall be dealing with Simon Lee, written by one of the greatest romantic poets, that is William Wordsworth. Here, the poet captures the changing fortunes of an old man who had once been a proud huntsman. In Unit 4, we shall deal with Tears, Ideal Tears. And it is a poem written by Alfred Lord Tennyson. In the poem, the poet tries to explain the necessity of overcoming the sorrows of life by inclining towards the sweetness of nature. In Unit 5, we shall deal with the W. B. Yeats's poem, An Irish Airman Foresees His Death. It captures the tale of an Irishman in the midst of wartime. In Unit 6, we shall read The Snake, a poem by D. H. Lawrence. That ref it reflects mainly our sense of fascination and fear towards this shy creature of nature. The snake is presented in its sense of poise and control, intending no harm, even as the poet hurls a stone to agitate the fascinating being. So, in the seventh unit, we shall deal with Keki and Daruwala's poem, Wolf. And it is basically a remnant of the poet's memories of his childhood years. The narrator voices his fascination and his deep concerns regarding the vulnerability of these amazing animals through the poem. The last unit deals with Chinua Achebe's poem, A Mother in a Refugee Camp. A mother's soul is beautifully captured through the short lines of the poem, which was written in the context of civil war. So, as you can see, all these poems that we have included in block 1 deals with varied themes and you shall definitely enjoy reading this. The second block deals with a play and some concepts of grammar. In block 2, you were supposed to read Macbeth, a play written by William Shakespeare, who is considered one of the major dramatists in English literature. Apart from the play, the block also emphasizes on some concepts of 
grammar. In unit number 9 and 10, we shall deal with Macbeth. For your convenience of reading, we have divided the play into two halves and into two units. So in part 1 of Macbeth, we shall get an idea about William Shakespeare, the dramatist, and also identify some of his major works. In unit number 10, Macbeth part 2, we shall get a detailed idea about the play and the themes or issues raised. In unit 11, uses of tenses part 1, it aims to guide the learner to grasp and differentiate between time, tense and aspect. It also focuses on the definition and division of tenses along with examples for your easy reference. Unit number 12, uses of tenses part 2. It aims to enable you to comprehend the use of various tense forms according to their language functions. Unit 13, that is comprehension and intelligent reading. It highlights some of the important practices that are helpful in developing comprehension skills. The intelligent reading techniques like scheming and scanning provide an informative approach to the comprehension of any text source. Unit number 14 that is comprehension part 2 it will enable the learner to practice skills required for descriptive comprehension that are necessary to extract relevant portions of information from any given text source. The last unit of the block deals with writing skill that is it deals with pressy writing. Oppressy forms an important area of study as it teaches us to quickly extract the central idea contained in a text and present it in a crisp and condensed form. You are advised to go through the e-materials as well as the videos that is attached against each unit of the course. This will help you a lot in understanding the units. I hope this video has given you a glimpse regarding the course content of General English. Thank you for watching this video.